Hello and welcome to a Taste of Hope quest guide. The items required for the quest are a rope, a mithril bar, a silver bar, a cut emerald, a cut sapphire, two cosmic runes, three water runes, three air runes and 1000 coins. It is recommended to have full graceful outfits, stamina potions, Mortenia teleport, Canifis teleport, combat gear, sharks, super restores, super potions and dehydes or corals. To begin this quest you have to teleport to Burg Derot with your Mauritania plate legs and once you are there you will head southeast to the boat you will need the requirements are on the screen take a lot of stamina potions take your graceful outfit now because you will have to do a lot of running head to the southeastern part and take the boat okay now that you've taken the boat get out of the boat climb down walk climb over the wall and now head east, you have to talk to an NPC called Garth to start the quest, head east, after you head east, head north, enter the door, now you have to head east at the quest mark and talk to Garth to begin the quest, select the first option, yes please, okay, so now you have started the quest and you have to go to Salafan, Safalan, or whatever his name is, a cutscene will occur, some vampires getting inside okay so now you have to go to Cephalon to tell him about fans from Claus and whatever his name is now if you remember how to go there there's a long route there but the best way to go there is to draw the attention of a fire watch once you draw the attention you use the second option telling him send me to the mines and you'll have to mine 15 ores now but it's definitely worth it because it's faster and don't worry if you don't have a pickaxe you just talk to one of the slaves in here select the third option and he'll give you a bronze pickaxe and now you'll have to mine 15 ores once you have them put them in the cart once you've stored 15 ores in the cart just talk to a guard and he'll let you go okay okay now that you're here just head southeast and if you remember there are like three doors you have to go through uh, you won't forget that place once you go there even though they all seem the same okay so we're there you open the first door you open the third door and then you climb up the ladder now to the east there are some floorboards you have to jump to the north of the room there's a st there are some stairs climb down the stairs push the wall push the decorated wall open the lumpy rug and climb down the trap door head north okay now that you're north talk to Cephalan and you will be informing him about what you just saw and now you'll have to return back to where you came it's not really required to talk to these people, but you can do it if you want. Uh, go back to Mauritania the same way as before. Board the boat. Okay, jump into the rocks, climb down climb over the wall repeat the process and then you go east back to where you started the quest inside the theater of blood okay so you climbed over now just run east as much as this you can Okay, so now open the doors, go to the southeastern corner and you will see some mercenaries, people with ancestral robes, Tebow, bandas, whatnot. <coughs> Talk to any of them. Okay, now, <coughs> now go to the bank, to the southwestern corner, next to the bank. You can see there is like a citizen and a few vampires trying to climb up the rocks to the west <clears throat> and you will see that you have to distract him, talk to the guy Harper, uh, agree to pay him 1k 
Okay, now simply just climb up the rocks again. Okay, now you have to wait for the steam to cool from the vent, because if you try to climb it, it will hit you 19 and you will be damaged for 19 HP. Okay, climb up the vent, go north. Climb it up once more. And as you can see, I get burned in here. Head east now. Climb up, climb down. And go east. Okay, now you have to look through the window when a cutscene will occur. You can skip this by pressing space and I believe these are the Raids 2 monsters you will be fighting. They have been displayed before in stream. Okay, now once you're done, you have to get the attention of Wirewatch again and go back to Cephalan, the quickest way through the mines, but you can <laughs> go through the long route if you want to. Once you're there, head southeast, so you go to the hide where they are and you have to inform them about what happened. Okay, now you have to push the wall again, push the decorated wall and climb down the ladder. Okay, go and talk to Cephalan once more. I do, first option. Talk to the guy on the left and use the first option. First option again. Talk to Safline again. Okay, so now we have to climb up the stairs, go north, leave the wall by pushing it, go to the three doors again, and once you are there you head northwest until you see a fountain, a broken fountain. Okay, here we are, search the broken fountain, and now just go south and climb down the stairs, and there you will find Cephalan again, and a bunch of crates and barrels. Talk to Cephalan and he'll tell you to create a potion of some kind. Search all the crates and the battles in the room. You'll find a vial, a potion, a pestle and mortar, and a piece of meat. Now go outside, north to the fountain. Use the vial on the fountain to get a vial of water. Use the herb on it, use the mysterious meat on the pestle and mortar to create ground meat and use the ground meat on the vial with the herb in it. And now you have a potion, use the potion on the door. And nothing happened, talk to him again. Once you talk to Cephalan again, he'll give you a vial of blood. Now you have to repeat the cycle, get the herb and get the piece of meat. Ground the piece of meat, use the herb on the blood potion and then use the piece, uh, the ground piece of meat on the potion to create a blood potion. Use the potion on the door, and now you open the door, search the chest, you got some notes, read the old notes, and then go and talk to Safline again and you will give him the notes. So you have to use the first option. Okay, now gear, because now you will have to face the first monster and go back to the hideout get some melee gear and you'll have to protect from mage the whole time get a super combat potion at the super restore because he will drain your stats at first and you will only need like two or three food max for this monster it's it's fairly easy one now put up and be ready to fight him once the conversation with cephalan ends 
like right now. Cutscene occurs, and here comes the monster. Tan -ta -da -tan. No, try to fight. Finish him. Now, as you can see, it's an easy boss. You just have to hit it. Protect from magic, because that's his main attack. Maybe it's range, but it seems like magic to me, I don't know. Okay, once he's dead, talk to them, and the cutscene ends. Now you'll need a rope, a mithril bar, a silver bar, two cosmic runes, three water runes, three air runes, a cut emerald, cut sapphire, and a rod clay mold. If you do not have a rod clay mold like I didn't, you'll have to do what I do to get it. But that's not exactly when you need it, so you can skip that part for now. Now you head back and you go to the old man Ral. If you have done master clues, you know where he is. Once you're into his house, head north and climb down the trapdoor. This is the new uh, hideout. Talk to Cenophel, Cephalan, and he'll tell you that you have to create a rod of blah blah blah. And then you search the two crates that are here. Talk to Vertida as well. He gives you some notes. Read the notes. Once you have read the notes, search both crates for a silver sickle blast and for a chain. You need a chisel now, because if you don't have it, you can't use it. I'll just take an extra once for the fun. And you can't take any more chains, you only want. Getting the rod clay mold. Now, to get this, you need a soft clay and to go to the Canifis pub. South of it, there's a trapdoor. Climb down the trapdoor, push the wall, and go to the crevice cave entrance to the left. Once you enter it, you'll see a tomb at the end of the road. Use your soft clay in the tomb. Now you got the mold, and use your emerald on the sickle to create an emerald sickle. Enchant it with a spell, and you have an enchanted emerald sickle. Now go to Felador. Go to the furnace, use your bars on it, and create a rod, silverth rod, whatever. And now you'll have to cast sapphire or level one enchant on the rod to enchant it. And go to Pater Damos, if you don't know where that is, Canifis, Drizel guy, where you completed the the knowing quest with Runestance. Okay, you got it now, and this is where you will need your rope, use it on the well, you tie it with the rope and you bless it, blah blah blah, then use the chain on it with a sickle and you have the event display. This is a new item from the quest. Okay, now that you're set, you can still use your graceful for now, you go back to the hideout and you have to tell Safranel about what you just made. Okay, now you'll have to prepare for the fight that's coming once you're done with the conversation. Finish the whole conversation. Space, 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 space. Okay, now go outside and head east back to the bank where we came from. Yeah, as you can see, that's the place. Bank your graceful outfit and get out your combat gear. This is the final fight. Okay, talk to Cal when you're ready. Take some super restores, like three, a few brews full of sharks and a super combat potion. The hide armor is better, because he mostly hits with mage and you will protect mage from all time and here comes the battle. Get ready. The fight is on. It's clobber time. There's like a special attack he has when he starts shaking his head and standing on place. Just run away when he does that. Yeah, this is the one that I warned you or he'll give you a big hit like 10 or 20 or something. 
he'll talk, he'll call these guards. The guards are low HP, less than 100, 80 I think. And just kill them. Once you kill them, he'll come back again. You'll fight him some more. He'll call again his guards. And it will go like that. Protect from mage at all times. I think that's the main damage he does. Okay, so now it's his final phase. And we just finish it now. And he'll attack like very rapidly. Look at his hit speed. Zero, zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, one. Okay, once you have finished him, a cutscene will occur. You will make some sort of a speech. And now you have to go back to the hideout to finish the quest. Okay, as you can see, he's dead, which means you completed the quest now. Congratulations, you just completed the Taste of Hope quest, and now you can do raids too when they come out. And the teleport is pretty cool because it teleports you near to a bank. Thank you for watching, and see you guys in the next bit. Subscribe and like.